Hey guys, hope you're all well and keeping safe. So I'm going to do um, a weekly general reading, but I'm actually not going to use any cards. I'm just going to rely um, completely on clairvoyance and see what comes up for your sign. Okay, so starting with Capricorn, there's something going on for you guys in the base chakra, in the root chakra. I can feel it right at the bottom of my spine. Um, so there's a need for you guys this week to make sure that your energy is grounded, especially through stretching the body or looking into healing modalities like Reiki, acupuncture, um, even yoga. There's something about needing to stretch the body, needing to stretch your back, stretch your spine. Like some of you could be really decompressing or kind of holding your shoulders in because of stress. And that needs to be released. That tension needs to go. There could be a project that you're being put on that's really going to allow you to showcase your talents. Because I'm feeling as though like someone's getting ready to stand up taller and sort of puff out their chest. For some of you... This could even be something to do with like a presentation or getting your name out there in some way, doing like a pitch or maybe for some of you it could even be a first date and you're wanting to make a good impression. And I feel like there's an apprehension that's kind of getting you off your game a little bit um, and you may be feeling quite self-critical or lacking a little bit of confidence and once you start to get in that grounded energy and reconnect you'll be fine. Hi Aquarius, so this week for you guys, I've got something coming up around the sinuses, um, blocked sinuses, a, a getting over a cold or a cold starting, so be really mindful of how you're feeling, um, any body aches, any pains, but I'm especially getting like around the nose and also like under the eyes, around the cheeks, just general sinus area, even connecting to the ears. I'm also picking up on an energy of you feeling very sarcastic this week. Maybe to the point where you want to be careful of it coming off as a little bit abrasive or a little bit rude. Mercury is obviously still retrograde, so this is something we all need to be doing. But um, miscommunications are super common during this time. And you might just want to have a little bit of a softer approach, especially when you're dealing with friends and family members. Someone could be coming to you with an issue or wanting your opinion. And it's almost like someone is feeling as though you're being very clipped or being very harsh or unfair. So you might just want to kind of nip that in the bud before someone's feelings get hurt. Um, but just remember to look after yourself and drink lots of like herbal teas, nice fragrant soups, lots of lovely vitamins. Hi Pisces, so this week for you guys I'm channeling issues surrounding the throat chakra. Um, you could find that your mouth is really dry, your throat could be really dry, you could keep like stumbling over your words or just feeling like your enunciation is off. Um, there's something to do with the way that you communicate is activating, it's changing. You're finding that kind of little extra push of your inner voice um, and feeling the confidence to make yourself finally be heard. For some of you, this is going to relate, especially in terms of love. For others of you, it's just life in general, okay? It will depend on what kind of challenges and obstacles you're facing. Obviously, it will be different for everyone. But the general message for you guys is like, clear your throat, work on your throat, um, rest your throat as well, stay really well hydrated, and make sure that when you're given an opportunity to give your opinion, to speak your truth, to stand up for yourself, make sure that you're taking it because I feel like I'm seeing like a golden egg as if like there's a golden opportunity and it could be something that you've been waiting to get off your chest for a really long time. So there's some kind of closure connected to the throat, connected to an important conversation this week. Hi Aries, so for you guys, I'm getting a mixture between the solar plexus chakra, the sacral chakra, but also the heart, there's some kind of like rising, part of me wants to say anticipation, but I don't think it is, it feels like rising panic, it feels like anxiety, 
and it's not like a nice kind of butterfly exciting like things um evolving it, it's it doesn't feel like that it feels awkward it feels like you're being that's what you're that's what it is you're being pushed out of some kind of comfort zone this week um you may find that you're really overextending or overexerting yourself to reach some sort of deadline a goal a plan i feel like your diary is jam-packed to the point where you're like by the time friday rolls around you're going to be absolutely exhausted but at the same time there's something that you're really not looking forward to doing or something that feels very tense and very anxiety driven but when you smash through that when that overcome when you overcome whatever this issue is it's like a massive sigh of relief and your whole body just going into this state of relaxation there's something about proving yourself wrong here where you may have been doubting yourself second guessing things yeah let's say for example purposes that you had to give a speech and you're expecting the worst feeling like you're going to do a terrible job when you're in the middle of it you feel like everything's failing and then as soon as it's done everyone's complimenting you everyone's telling you how great of a job you did and it uncovers this kind of sense of self i'm hearing self-promotion um but pride a job well done actually being able to celebrate your achievements that's what's going to be happening for you by the end of this week um, for some of you there could also be an awkward conversation that happens between you and someone that's wanting to reconcile with you whether that's in love whether it's to be honest for most of you for the majority it feels like either an estranged friend or family member um, but I'm feeling like an awkward conversation brings some kind of development of a bond or a re-deepening of a bond. Um, so yeah, that could also be where the nervousness is coming in. Taurus, there's some kind of um, restlessness settling around the calves and the feet for you guys this week. And there's this feeling of like, I want to kick my legs out, I want to stomp them on the ground. You know, I don't know if this is going to sound weird and if anyone else will know what I'm talking about. But sometimes when you're in bed and you may wake up with like pins and needles or you get tingly sensations in your legs or you just feel like you need to get up and do something. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Some of you could be starting a new workout routine, especially in, uh, yeah, I'm being told hitting the ground running so some of you could be getting into running jogging hiking walking i don't know what this is even like maybe even uh what do you call it a crossfit trainer cross training whatever it's called but i'm seeing something to do with your legs needing to get your legs moving and yeah for some of you there's definitely changes to a workout routine or counting your steps but there's also something about a spiritual journey that you're going to be doing a lot of astral travel. So it's almost like you'll wake up and your legs may feel heavy. You may feel more tired. And that's because you're kind of traveling between two different worlds at the moment. Pay really close attention to your dreams because I feel like it's really important for you this week. Hi Gemini. So for you guys this week, I'm picking up on the heart and also the throat chakra. Um... There's something about keeping your keeping your thoughts to yourself. I feel like this week is a little bit of a test when it comes to the people that are around you, the people that you spend a lot of your time with. There could be some rising tension. So this could be with colleagues, with best friends, with family members. And it's not necessarily anything overly negative or that's, you know, nothing that's going to be terrible. But I just feel this energy of like, I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself because I can't be bothered to create drama that's uncalled for and that's just not going to be worth my time, basically. I'm getting like five of swords energy where you look at a situation, you're evaluating it, you're wondering, should I speak up on this or should I just let it go? And I feel like for the majority of you, this week is about letting shit slide. And if there's a sign that's good at doing that, you're definitely one of the best um so i feel like there's a little bit of test in testing in terms of like mental capacity 
and handling stress but it's handling the way that other people put stress upon you if that makes sense it's kind of like you're taking a step back and thinking mm, is it worth it is it not and then yeah and then just letting it go and as i was saying this i can feel a pain right at the top of my spine like where your uh the base of your skull and your spine connect and that's where that's a major energy center of where negativity like negative entities negative energies can collect so some of you will know this week or be able to intuitively feel that someone is talking about you behind your back someone may be gossiping um it's just like your name is in people's mouths basically um but i just feel like you're in this energy of like okay well enjoy talking about me because if that's all you've got the time to do i must be doing something right so you go <laughs> Hi Cancer, so there's a very interesting energy around you guys at the moment. Um, it feels similar to hermit energy. I can feel like I want to put my head down, almost as though I'm trying to hide or like not be seen. This is really like random, but you know when you go out, say you go to do a food shop and you're walking around the store and then you see someone that you went to school with and you think, oh, I really don't want to talk to you, so I'm just going to try and be, like, really incognito and really out of the way. That's what I'm feeling like. So some of you could be hiding some news that you're waiting to share, but it's like an energy of not wanting to let anyone in, not wanting to let anything slip. Some of you could be having um, news of a promotion, uh, even maybe to do with moving home there's like some kind of big life-changing news that I feel is coming your way but for a lot of you it's being kept either you're keeping it head hidden or the universe is keeping it hidden from you because they don't want it to take you off of your path yet if that makes sense um, it's like there's no room for distractions and again it's like you're protecting this or the universe is protecting it it will depend which side of the fence you're currently sat on. But I'm just getting that there's some really good things coming in when you're ready to go back into the spotlight. Hi Leo, so some of you are going to be seeing 1111 or 111 literally everywhere you go this week. Um, there's something here about the eyes as well. Like being able to read someone just from their eyes, from a look in their eyes, being able to see through to their soul. There's something changing about the way that you read and interpret energy. This could also be a developing um, trust in your intuition, trust in your own judgment. And I'm also hearing in sound judgment. There could also be some very important decisions that come up extremely kind of last minute this week where you're going to really need to think on your feet but it's not really going to phase you because you're great at doing things like that anyway um but it feels as well as if you're going to be asked to step up to the plate in some way For some of you if any of you work in a gym or as like a fitness instructor or a pt some of you are going to be asked to lead a class or a seminar. Um, obviously, seminar would be for someone that's doing a different job. But I'm just getting someone who works, maybe even in like nutrition or healthcare, being asked to lead a project. Yeah, the more I'm getting into it, it's just kind of like whatever your job is, there could be a call in for you to like really step up to the plate this week. And you know what I was saying about reading people and like reading the eyes? There could be something here about very intense eye contact. I'm hearing engagement. Um, someone else engaging with you. Someone else locking eyes with you. Locking interest with you. Mutual hobbies. Mutual interests. There's something coming through to do with work, to do with a job, a project that you are going to be called upon to lead, a situation that you will need to lead. Um, for some, some of you, this could even be meeting a new romantic interest linked through your job in some way, like, like falling for a client or falling for 
a colleague or something of that that nature but i'm just seeing two people locking eyes and something causing a massive shift but it definitely relates to the workspace hi there guys so this week for you guys i've got a really lovely playful carefree flamboyant energy um and i feel like it's really well received really welcomed so maybe you haven't been feeling like this for a little while and it's just kind of coming out of the blue but it feels like you're ready to embrace a new theme, a new life theme, a new current is actually what I'm being told. So there could be some changes to like your day to day or maybe spirit is here asking you to consider making some changes to your day to day. Um, even with that current energy, it's like a flow of something, a stream of something. Someone could be connecting to water. Um, connecting in water is a really great, great way of speeding up manifestations as well. So manifesting in the bath, in the shower, sitting by a river, sitting by a lake, the ocean can really help to like double that speed. So that could be something that someone is doing. I'm also getting something about vision boards. There's a lot coming in here about the future. And I'm seeing sevens, uh, 0707777 which is all like obviously good luck but that's also the number for this year so moving forward into how you want to progress this year um really nice energy really optimistic really hopeful hi libra so we've been going through it we're still going through it there's still that energy of processing it's ruminating almost like a numbness where we may be so desensitized to what's going on around us that we're just checking out and the thing is it it doesn't even necessarily feel heavy or painful or exhausting it's just like meh meh like maybe as much as you're not getting upset about things you're also not getting excited about things so it's kind of like i just want to feel something again um so there could be a little bit of depression a little bit of anxiety being triggered but it's also healing it's also healing we're in like this weird space of ascension where you know that better's coming in but you're so ready for it we've been ready for it i've been waiting like come on come on come on but it's i feel like i've been saying the same thing for libras for weeks and weeks and weeks but it's like we don't see what is coming i feel it in my bones i know there's something big that's about to transpire for us especially in terms of finances um but it's it's in regards to emotional fulfillment as well we're going to be one of the main players for this year so just just keep holding on it's coming hi scorpio so this week for you guys i'm getting crown chakra activation not just activation though it's like it's opening up and it's developing gifts are developing to such an intense and fast rate of knots that you may have these weird sensations of like just not feeling yourself or not feeling part of reality some of you could be doing a lot of research on past lives um, but some of you could also be encountering countless visions prophetic dreams prophetic visions being able to literally foresee the future one thing I will say, which I think I said for you a couple of weeks ago as well, write down and make notes of premonitions or things that you feel are going to happen because I feel like you'll be quite surprised. Some of you are especially going to start channeling messages about changes, changes to weather, changes to global warming, whether this is um, predicting earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes. There's something really significant about Scorpios and the weather, okay? Um, in terms of like physical life stuff, I want you to be really careful of tension on your shoulders. Someone's carrying a bag around that's too heavy for them and it could cause some shoulder injuries. Um, so please like have a clear out of what you're carrying around and also emotionally carrying around. Hey Saji, so the um, energy I'm getting for you guys this week is involving the hands. I'm getting numb fingers or pins and needles in the fingers, tingling in the hands. I'm also seeing someone either biting their nails or picking the skin around their nails. There's some form of like anxious, 
anxious link to how you release energy through the hands. Um, some of you may want to look into mudras, M-U-D-R-A-S, um, EFT. I, I feel like you're releasing negative tension through your hands. So this could even be like when you're laying in bed, just facing your palms to the ceiling and asking the universe to take away stress and pain and anything that you want it to absorb and take away from you. Um, obviously your hands and your feet, any extremity, is really powerful when it comes to releasing um, tension and just kind of negative energy energy that's been stored in the body. So I feel like that's something you're going to be focused on. But overall, I'm just feeling um, a little bit of an on-edge energy for you guys this week. There's a purging sensation. So even though it may be uncomfortable for you to sit in and uh, flow through, just know that it's needed for your growth. If you find yourself getting really stressed or feeling really overwhelmed, I want you to run your wrists under cold water or dab a little bit of cold water on your neck, on your temples, but on the wrists especially is going to be really um, a really quick way to release, okay? Because I'm seeing that someone may have like a little bit of a, a, a fluster or an anxiety attack when they're in public, even maybe in the bathroom at a workplace. So I just want to put that on your radar. Um, don't worry, try not to stress too much, try not to get yourself worked up, um, kind of before this happening or like preempting that this is going to happen, um, because it's not going to be for everyone, but I just feel like, Saji, I want to give you a big hug this week, because it feels like you're letting a lot of stuff go, which can be really painful and really awful at the time, um, but there's better coming and it's stuff that you're ready to shed, it's stuff that you're ready to release. So just try and let the universe, your angels, your ancestors take it all away. That's what I have for you for this week, guys. Hope you have a beautiful week. Sending you lots of love. Bye.